Well, it's been a few days since the Virginia elections, and we know Democrats took control of the General Assembly, but one local race is getting a lot of attention, uh, and that was in Loudoun County in the Board of Supervisors race. Yeah, the winner uh, was a woman who went viral a couple of years ago for flipping off President Trump's motorcade. You might remember that. Back then, Julie Briskman was fired from her job because of it. Our Evan Kosloff spoke with her about her newfound redemption. I was riding on this two-lane road. I had come from my neighborhood, which is over there. Julie Briskman is showing us where it all happened. Lowe's Island Boulevard in Sterling. It's less than a mile away from the Trump National Golf Course. In late 2017, Trump's motorcade went by. As they were passing me, I was frustrated, obviously, with this administration, and I flipped them off. At the next stoplight, she then did it again. Little did she know, someone was watching. So somebody yeah. in the press pool caught the photo. Yes. Are yeah. you glad they did? Yeah, yeah, I'm glad they did. I mean... For, for me personally, but also because I think it expressed how so many people were feeling and so many people resonated with it. It's a photo that quickly spread online, making her a hero for some and an enemy for others. Oh, oh, did you get that? Even while out there, we saw it. Someone stuck the middle finger right at her, and it wasn't a friendly one. I'm a symbol, right? Like, uh, and, and I'm happy to be that symbol. Back at her home, just a few blocks away, she explains how it escalated from there. This photo spread like wildfire. Soon her company, Akima LLC, fired her because of it. When the story got out, she went viral with the hashtag Her2020. Turns out they were off by a year. She would win a spot on the Loudoun Board of Supervisors this year in 2019. Perhaps the biggest victory belongs to a woman named Julie Briskman. Her story making headlines, both serious and satire. Virginia's got a new county supervisor and a new state bird. If you could take it back, and not hold up that middle finger, keep your job. Would you rather have done that or are you happy where you ended up? Uh, life is so much more interesting right now. <laughs> I wouldn't take it back. Brisman said that she wanted to make her campaign about local issues, although there's no denying that national politics played into the results. Mm -hmm. She believes there was a Trump effect at play. She thinks Virginia is no longer a purple state, but is now pure blue.